Back here in the really cramped laser room. The Monport 40 watt right behind me here. We're going to put the air assist on it today. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. And it's actually pretty simple. Coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the laser room in the loft above the shop. That's where I'm at today, and it's very cramped in here. I've got a storage rack over here. I've got a laser, some 3D printers over there. I got stuff stacked back there. And this is actually, was originally a bedroom, so it's not real big. I've got my Monport 40 watt right here, and I'm putting the air assist on it today. And I already started with part of it, if you, if you watched my previous video on getting the air run up here and the air manifold and all that kind of good stuff. So that's already done. Um, I've got the air hose routed in there through the drag chain and I'll go over again how I did that. And I, um, I bought the kit so that I do not have to replace this part. All I have to do is screw the other lens adapter on and put my air adapter on there and tighten up the set screw. That way I don't have to mess around with trying to get everything refocused and make sure I got it in just the right spot so the laser beam hits just right here and all that kind of good stuff. So get you in close here, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, this orange thing you see here is my airline. I've got run through the drag chain and um, this is not a drag chain that you can open up. I had to thread this through there. An easy way to do that is to put electrical tape over the end of it like this, close that end up, make it so it's nice and round and smooth. Take uh, some Dawn dishwashing soap on your fingers and rub all the way around that tube. Start at this end over here start pushing the tube through with your laser head clear over here and push it till it hits the curve. Then pull this back and just keep pushing your tube through and it'll come right on through there. Then um, you can either just let the soap dry or you can wipe it off. So it's just that easy. Okay, the kit as I mentioned I bought, there's the part I'm not going to be using. Uh, it comes with, actually I'll take this back off, you can see what I'm talking about. This threads on in place of the original factory one right here, same thread and everything. Just put your lens in there, make sure you get it the right way around and make sure it's clean because I the playing around I have been doing on this and some little bit of cutting and stuff that lens gets dirty in a hurry without any air assist to keep the smoke and stuff off that lens so it's just a matter of screwing this back on now this here I will mount my I will put my tube on it get a length there cut it then this just slips on and there's a set screw to tighten up so it, it's going to be pretty simple just got to get my length and everything here and get a cut. Okay, if you're using the same type of tubing I am, it's a little stiff. It's not that real soft aquarium type tubing. You're not going to be able to just shove this right on there because that, uh, that's some pretty stiff stuff and it's a little cool in here. Got a heat gun here. Just going to heat that tubing up on the end. Get it softened up a little bit so it won't be quite so stiff. Okay, from here it's just going to be a matter of getting this in position. Try to get that behind my little LED eye there. I'll just tighten that screw back down. And we'll have to check, make sure I didn't mess this up. Do a little test cut here on a piece of quarter inch, just a scrap of quarter inch plywood, cutting out a little seahorse with the arrow assist on. And I see my red laser beam is still not exactly where the laser beam is supposed to be. That is a dickens to get that thing focused over to be right on top of that dot and make it stay there. Yeah, I got a little bit of stuff to get out of there, but there's my seahorse. Got it cleaned up. A little bit of scorching in the back there, of course, because I don't have a honeycomb bit in here yet, but that's in the future. But 
the detail on it's pretty good. That's uh, something pretty small to be cutting out of plywood that thick. So pretty good detail there on the tail. So I'm happy with that. And that should keep the lens a lot cleaner. So there's the latest with putting the air assist on and getting it all hooked up on the Mon port here. And uh, there'll be more of these projects here coming up as I get a little bit of time to get dedicated to this again. Uh, I got sidetracked with a whole bunch of items in the shop. We need to get some orders out. And it really kept me busy. So there's the air assist and there'll be a link at the very end of the video where you could see how I added all the air manifolds and everything on here and all that kind of stuff if you missed that. Otherwise, watch for more videos on the Smon Port coming up. I'm Roger in the laser room in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.